everybody. Thank you for joining us this afternoon or morning or evening, wherever you are. And it looks like you're from all over today. We've got uh, people from all over the globe, and we're really excited to have you in our webinar room today for what looks to be a very, very informative, very helpful presentation by an excellent presenter. Steve Ruffley is in the room with us. He is the um, the man behind Trader Maker Pro, our latest add-on to Metastock, and uh, we're excited to turn some time over to him. Steve uh, is a very seasoned trader and a very seasoned educator. He's uh, he's traded for over a decade, and he's in risk management and mentored some of the very top traders at Refco and Schneiders. Um, he's a really great presenter when it comes down to it as far as helping people see how to be successful in the markets. He has a fantastic set of systems that he has built uh, here in Metastock. I've had a chance to spend a little bit of time on these already preliminarily and i um, really excited for him to show you what he's put into Metastock as what I think is one of our very best add-ons. Um, he's a chief market strategist for intertrader.com. He's uh, regularly quoted by Reuters, Bloomberg. I'm sure many of you have heard his, uh, his presentations and certainly has been quoted all over. So we're excited to have him in the room. I'm going to turn the time now over to Steve Ruffley. Okay. Well, it's good evening uh, from uh, where I'm in the UK, guys. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for, uh, for attending tonight. A great introduction there. I don't think there's a great deal I can add, to be honest, to that. Um, you can see from the slide that, again, I'm the uh, Chief Market Strategist of Intrader. I also own TraderMaker.com uh, com and, and another of uh, uh, trading products. So really what I want to go through tonight is my kind of approach to trading. Again, I'm fairly unique in that I've traded for a long time, but more importantly, I've run trading floors, I've risk managed, you know, some very, very, you know, powerful traders. And trading is one of these things, it's very personal. So we'll all in this room have our own different trading styles. And what I try to do is take that step back and say that it's not necessarily knowing a secret strategy or a secret way of trading that nobody else knows. What is more important is knowing what everybody else in the market is looking at, paying attention to that and looking for that all important pain. Trading with the market when people are right, then trading against them when they're wrong. So he's trying to look at the trading as I do as a risk manager, you know, seeing when people go long and short and you know they're going to get squeezed out. So it's understanding how the markets work. Obviously you have to factor in the fundamentals there's a lot of um, a lot of rumors you know the problems that we've got out of the US with now we've started on the, the quantitative easing tapering you know where's that going to end up is the economy strong enough to continue under its own steam so all we're doing constantly is assessing the fundamentals with the technicals and the market sentiment and my add-on TraderMaker Pro is designed to give you that core of, uh, of the technical side of analysis. Now, the market is moving, in my opinion, 80-20, so 80% of the time technically, 20% fundamentally, so this is a huge part of what we're trying to achieve today. So it's popular misconceptions that I have, um, uh, the, the people have asked me about trading. Now, generally people think that professional traders know more than you do. Now, <laughs> I can hand on heart honestly say that I've met a lot of traders that are not too bright. Doesn't mean they're not great traders, but it's not necessarily you have to be a quant. It's not necessarily that you have to be a genius to be a good trader. A lot of it's emotional strength. A lot of it's the, the emotional intelligence. And that's something that's really hard to teach. And I think with having a mentor on your side and having a system like mine that's designed to be that, that bit of a mentor and shore up, that's what's really powerful in making a good trader great. Okay. Now, the markets, people can perceive are controlled and manipulated. Again, don't get me wrong, you know, there are spikes in the markets. But again, by looking at the markets technically, technically you can see how far things should move, how markets, you know, get overextended quickly and where the, where, where the extremes of the market will be. And my, again, my system tells you the different time frames, the different ways in which markets can be interpreted, you know, from a technical perspective. So you're trying to catch them tops and bottoms by all the different systems that are put in place. Another misconception is you have to hold a position for a long time to make money. In my opinion, the, there, are, there are position traders and scalpers. Now, if you don't hold overnight positions, then you're a scalper. It's as simple as that. A position trader for me will have to hold trades overnight. So four trillion is trading on the FX markets alone every day. So there's plenty of money out there for an intraday trader to make money. Trading is a good way to get rich quick. 
Certainly not. I've met very, very, very few people. In fact, I can count them on two fingers, the people that got rich quick, and I'm not one of them. It took a long time to be a good trader, and I still, still think I'm learning. Uh, another misconception is everyone reads the charts in the same way. Obviously, Metastock has a number of different add-ons, and that's because people teach and people interpret the data in many different ways. So what I would say, the way I see it is that 99% of the time, we all have access to the same information. Okay, so if we're all looking at the same things, then we have to interpret that to our own benefit. doesn't mean we're going to interpret it the same way. But what I'm trying to do with the system and all the kind of different indicators I put in play is, for, is to allow you to understand what the market is looking at and for you to understand what the 99% of the traders are doing and then build your trading calls accordingly. It's all about that percentage edge. So why is it so difficult when you're trying to make money? Well, there's no real mystery about trading. You know, you, you buy low and you sell high. Is it actually that simple? Uh, the actual pressing the, of a button, buying or, or selling any asset class, any, any particular product is, is the easy part. The hard part, as we all know, is how you manage that trade, you know, where you get out, you know, how you manage your risk. That's what's difficult about trading. The actual physical act of trading is pretty easy. So all the things that I've learned over the last decade of, of being a trader myself is put into the system. And more importantly, all the elements of um, being a risk manager, you know, that was the really difficult thing. Um, when, when you're trading with guys right at the edge, you know, people clipping huge amounts of size, taking huge amounts of risk on. It's being able to interpret what they're doing, how they're understanding the market, and, and taking all these different things into consideration. And so that's why I say Trade Maker Pro is kind of, it's an in-between system. It's meant to be a risk manager, it's meant to be a mentor, and it's meant to be a factual uh, technical piece of software that allows you to interpret what the majority of market participants are looking at. And as I say, you know, I quote this all the time, four trillion is traded, a minimum generally of four trillion is traded every day in the FX market. So where there's money, there's a strategy, and there's a profit. And where there's money, there's people that are, are, are gonna try harder than the next person. And there's people that are going to push the boundaries is a bit more than the next person so we have to understand the rules of the game we all love to hate bankers but they're there for a reason it's not an easy job and the markets move but they're just performing a function so it's not about hating the players you know it's about getting involved in the game and anything that gives you that edge is really what we're here to do we're just looking for that tiny bit of an edge that can give us the confidence to get into a trade or stay into a trade okay because that's what's most important when we're trying to make money from trading I would say that most traders don't really have a sustainable strategy. That's one of the key things that I go back to time and time again when I'm teaching beginners or I'm shoring up you know, seasoned traders that are going through a, a bad spell. Easiest thing in the world to just open your trading terminal and put some trades on. You know, The markets are always moving and they're always happy to take your trade. In my experience, if you have a little bit of a plan, some basic goals, some basic rules, you're halfway there, to be honest. You're halfway there to being a successful trader. And again, the Trader Maker Pro uh, system is designed to give you that extra bit of pre-planning. So you have levels, you understand what the indicators like RSI, MACD are doing. So you've got that extra bit of edge, knowing that quite a lot of the research is done for you. And all you have to do is open up your chart, have a look at the expert commentary, and then it's up to you how you trade. So again, it's a time saver for me, and that's ever so important in our busy lives, being able to maximize your own time and not waste your time looking at things that don't count. Everything that is on my charts is because I trade with them, because I use them. There's no wastage. There's nothing there for show. And in fact, in some of the cases, I've stripped um, the meta stock charts right back so they can look quite plain. This is good. Okay, you, you want less on your charts. Everything on your charts or outside of the charts, you need to focus on and look. It, otherwise, it's just noise. It's just a distraction. <clears throat> when you see people on Facebook with 20 screens, laptops, you know, a million different charts, the, the, these aren't people making the money. Okay, I can guarantee it. You know, it's, it's the smart guys looking at the right kind of information that make the money in trading. And th this is real. Okay, this is from my own personal experience. And again, managing hundreds and hundreds of traders over the years. So to use Trader Maker Pro to gain a strategy, well, again, as I say, you know, again, it's all from experience. So what I'm trying to do is bring everything that is of relevance and of use on an intraday basis. And again, from the higher time frames, my method of trading is all time frames. One of the most common questions I get is, Steve, you know, what time frame do you look at to trade? Well, it's, well, Mr. Trader, I look at all of them, to be honest. Why wouldn't you? So my system, again, is designed to bring the higher level points of attraction, support and resistance, um, indicator, you know, 
for your weekly, daily, monthly kind of stochastics, mighty RSI, etc., etc. It's designed to bring them into all all one place because there's no point buying into a, a massively bearish day or week or month. You know, again, you have to understand what the rest of the market are looking at. Uh, a lot can happen in a second in trading. A lot can happen in a minute. Again, I look, I like to focus on the hourly candles because that for me filters out the most noise. But again, as I say, you know, TradingMaker Pro is designed to work on any product on any time frame. So it's it's down to you how you assimilate that and put it together. So the key parts to TradingMaker Pro, which I'll go through in a minute when we do a live demo, is the expert commentary. So everything um, that I know uh, that Mark is looking at is in the expert commentary. So again, it's back to the RS. Si, MACD, stochastics. You know, instead of giving numbers for these, I've given you a, a simple buy, sell, or neutral. And these again are on the different time frames. So if everything on the, on the RSI is saying monthly, weekly, daily, um, sell, and the time frame you're trading on, you're going to have to say that market's not going down. It's going to get pushed up. So it's not that it's there to tell you what the market's going to do. It's what the market's expecting. So if everything's red. Okay, and everything's massively bearish, but the market is pushing up and everyone's buying. You know the shorts are getting squeezed out. Now, this is the key to trading like a professional, knowing what everyone's looking at and when they're feeling pain. So you let the market overextend, let all the shorts get squeezed out, you let the market go to the highest point it can, and again, my charts will help you interpret that, and then you sell high, and then the market comes back to where everyone was getting short in the first place, and the market goes down. This is the key bit that I'm trying to tell you guys that there's the insider knowledge, okay? Knowing when markets are overextended and doing that and, and going with that pain. The overextended markets is another thing that I look at very often. And again, when the markets exhibit certain characteristics, uh, you get an automatic Fibonacci. Fibonacci is something that you have to use in trading. Fibonacci... It, it, it's, it just works. For me, it's an 80% trading signal, an edge of 80%. Fibonacci is the reason why your forearm is the same size as your foot. It happens in nature. It happens in the markets. It's just as simple as that. So Fibonacci, when it does exhibit, uh, and whatever time frame you're looking at, certain criteria, then what you're looking for is that key 50% level, which we highlighted in bold, and then you trade around that. Um, for me, Fibonacci is one of these things you can't ignore. If it works in nature, it works in charts. It's just how you interpret it. And again, for me, what I'm trying to do is tell you from 10 years of trading with Fibonacci and seeing how other people interpret it, this is the way you should do it. So it works in overextended markets where markets move very, very quickly in one direction and have a lot of momentum and volume. And then we draw our Fibonacci based upon some other secrets, you know, Steve Ruffley, you know, uh, signals and uh, variations. Uh, obviously, I can't tell you these things work because you just go out and do them yourselves. In chart signals, again, everything outside of the charts is what the market knows. Everything inside the charts is what I know. So you'll get bull bear reversals and you'll get um, a bull bear directional candle moves. Now, these aren't to say that just if you see a bear candle, you're going to see the market move down. But what you'll see is that that's a burr candle. So if that burr candle is then pushed up, you're going to get shorts moving out the market again. So it's it's all designed to show you what the market's thinking in the expert commentary. Then what's actually happening within the charts, okay, will be the arrows and the trade signals I use. Now, again, it depends on the time frame you use. I'd recommend you use H1 and above. When I go through the demonstration, you'll see that the reversals particularly work very well in the higher time frames. So it depends, if, again, if you're an intraday scalper or a longer-term position trader. But once you've got the tools at hand, it's down to you to make the money. As I say, you know, the pressing the button is the easy part. The making the money, as we know, is the difficult part. You also get the in-chart signals, the bull bear. Um, it, it's basically a bottom line um, bar that tells you the bull bear sentiment. So this is the only thing, again, that I pull in for what everyone else is looking at. Now, this is really important that you have to look at this because this, again, will tell you what the majority of people in that time frame are doing. Okay, so they're either bullish or bearish, buying or selling. And you have to tie that up with my indicators. Because if, if, if everyone else is massively bullish, and I'm saying there's a big, reversive, big reversal on the, on the bear side, then only one of us is going to be right, isn't it? So again, it's interpreting what you see within the, the charts from the market participants' perspective, and for what I know is a percentage good edge trade. So again, it's down to your interpretation. I'm not making a system that says buy here, sell here. It's much more powerful than that because it allows you to interpret every single market. And again, when we run through things like the expert commentary, sorry, the, the expert advisor and the, uh, the, the power console, you'll see the, the, the benefit of, of having a system that's programmed in this way. 
So the power console we move on to, the, the, the three main elements that I talked about, the touch or break of Bollinger Bands, which I don't put on the charts, but they're working in the background, the bull bear reversal and the bull bear previous two candle closes. These are things that you need to be aware of when you're trading intraday and, and also when you put in your longer term positions, because these will give you the right kind of entry points. So using the power console, you can search for these things on your favorite products or again it depends how many products you, you, you wish to trade and um, metastock offers uh, a staggering array of products and what you can do is find out my percentage edge trades just by using the power console so we're all uh, users here of uh, of metastock so we should be able to uh, be quite aware of, of the power of that particular feature so alerts, again, you'll see the alerts and you can set these yourself when the certain criteria on the charts are open will give you the uh, the Bollinger touch break candles, uh, rever reversals and the bull bear candles. So again, it's just something else that when you've, if you're just looking at your charts and you're not particularly paying attention, these things will pop up for you. Uh, the layouts, you'll also get 17 layouts and this sounds quite trivial and I, I cannot tell you how long this took for me personally to make these charts look as clean and crisp as this it took literally days and days and days so you're gonna have 17 layouts and they're all with my indicators put in the correct way so you're gonna get you know commodities you're gonna get indices grouped together you're gonna get monthly views weekly views and you'll see when you start to click through these uh, layouts how my indicators work and more importantly how you're gonna be able to get into your trades and these things are a massive time saver I cannot stress to you how much of an edge this gives me when I'm opening up my charts uh, to do some daily analysis or hourly analysis just by having these layouts handy is a massive time saver okay guys well that's that's enough of uh, the intro I think it's time um, if Dave let me share my screen we'll go through some examples now obviously we've all used Metastock before so I won't uh, I won't go through too many of the basic functions but I'll, I'll try to go through exactly uh, what the system does and how I use it on a day-to-day -day basis Okay, so just going to share the screen now. So hopefully everybody should be able to see a chart. We've got the Japanese, uh, we've got the Japanese yen versus the CAD. So can everybody see that? Dave saying it looks good. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys. Well, what I would do to start off with is we just open up our trade and make a layout. So we have the overview, which is basically just every market I would look at on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's a mixture between uh, the indices, FX, maybe some commodities like gold. But really, when we're trying to figure out what we're trying to do from a trade perspective, what I would concentrate on is the single product view and commentary. Okay, well, that's the screen we're going to look at now, or the four products and commentary. So that's just basically four charts you look at on every day, or again your four favorite products doesn't really matter so for this instance we're going to look at the single product commentary so this is the chart again nice and clean that's that's the the emphasis to try and make these meta stock charts need to be very very clean and very easy to use so we're just going to view the expert commentary so again this is what you're going to be able to see every day you, you trade and the more charts you have the more expert commentary you can flick through now expert commentary is, is designed to give you a, a, a snapshot of what the market is trying to achieve so we see the open low close the volume etc I and mean, that's that standard stuff what is more important is your support and resistance levels okay and on this one again we've seen that certain criteria being hit so we've seen the markets break up and therefore what breaks up will have to come down so what we're, t what we're saying is that the key Fibonacci levels that we're looking to get to uh, are given to us and it's the key 50% for me that is always the one to look out for now this is a black dotted line here I set up this chart earlier so what I would say is that well I, the way I look at trading is we'll go through some of the temp the layout sorry in a minute but what I tend to do is just look at the different time frames. So I'd maybe start with a weekly view. Okay, so I'm looking at the weekly view to see what the market's doing. Well, I've seen a, a big sell-off on the weeks. We're kind of consolidating now. The market's made some highs from here, and we're getting some bullish signals. So you can see in the higher time frames how these things work. You know, the bear candle is saying there's more bears in that weekly candle selling than there are bulls. So the likelihood is we're going to see some downward pressure. Well, I don't think anyone can deny that the market moved down from there. Again, we've seen the reversal here where the market tries to move up again, but doesn't, uh, you know, fully reverse and go back into the range. But remember, this is your bearish. This is what the market's thinking. So there's more bears than, than there are bulls. So 
unfortunately, that reversal signal we've got is not going to be... Um, it's not going to be, uh, you know, be able to take over the downward sentiment. So, in, in fact, this is another thing you need to look at. Don't go into a reversal like everybody else. You know, check what everyone else is thinking. And if they don't match up, again, you don't want to be buying into a market that's heavily selling off. So, what I would tend to do is, as I say, I'd start off with maybe the weekly, and I pick out some of these key levels. So, if you want to put a level on the charts, I've already drawn these on earlier on. You'll get a blank chart. But instead of putting all the lines on. Uh, what I decided to do was be a bit more kind of allow it, allow you guys to choose, to be honest. So all you have to do, if you want to put some lines on the chart, is, is click the line. Uh, okay, let's just... We see the y-axis. Okay, that's not worked particularly well, has it? We'll just put a line. Okay, just double-click a line to get the property. So if you want to you know, put a key resistance point in, and again, if, if the numbers are the same on the weekly, that's saying that's the only key level the market's looking at. So uh, on, on different time frames, you will get you know, different support, zero, one, two, three, four. But when the time frames move up, there's only generally one point the market wants to get to. So the more times it's replicated, the stronger it is. So if you want to put this level in is this one spot zero, seven, zero, seven, two, just highlight it, control C, double click, Go to your parameters, control V to paste it in, and OK. And that line will be put in already. OK, so it's just, it's already in the market that I've put up. So that's fine. So that's just a quick way, just using your control C, control V to paste in the lines. So we've got our weekly view. We can see that really we're bullish. OK, in the weekly view, the market's dipped down. We've hit key support in this red line here. So the market wants to get back up to key resistance up here. So that's the weekly. You might want to cycle through to your dailies, but as I say, I'll go back to the hourlies because this is what I focus on. So the hourlies now, again, when we see that very bearish weekly candlestick pattern, we've seen the market actually rally today. So the market is, has broke up from these highs here. We've had the burr reversal. Okay, we've not been able to hold above when we've got the bull candle. The market sold off, but then maybe it's due to fundamental data, maybe just a technical change. We've, we've crept into this bullish part. The market's then moved up. So what else? The, the, again, I mean, what we're looking at is what everything here in, in the expert commentary is what the market is looking at. So these are where the hourly buyers and sellers find support. This is where the hourly buy and sellers find resistance. So these are all put onto your chart already. Now, I've drawn some Fibonacci lines through. So if we reject this double area of support here in the... Uh, in, in the yen versus the Canadian dollar, then the market's going to come back and it's going to look to test support resistance that we've drawn in here and the 50% that we've drawn in black. These other dotted lines are just the 161 uh, retracement and the 261 retracement. Again, when, when the Fibonacci is on your uh, expert commentary, you know, you can just look at it yourself. I mean, it's, it's just because the, the candle's now closed, the, um, the, the expert commentary's taken that off. So 80% of the time when we're using things like Fibonacci, it, it works. That when we close below the significant highs, the first point the market looks to test is the 50% retracement. So I'm saying that if, if in the next five to maybe 10 hours of trading, if we close below this upper level here, okay, at one spot zero eight three three zero, the market's going to get down and test one spot zero seven eight nine zero. Okay. Yeah, we've got well, it's it's the same thing. You know, we've got the you know the the CAD JPY JPY CAD. I mean, it's it, it it's just how you interpret it. It's the, it's the the yen versus the Canadian dollars. It's all the same thing. So again, I mean, what you're trying to look for is a significant close, and when the market then tells you that we were good, we finished. Remember the, these blue candles are. Uh, that they're illustrating the Rinna Fibonacci sequence of the market is breaking out, it's overextended, it's moving up, and again, we're supported by that bullishness. When that finally ends, we close below the upper ends of support uh, and resistance that we've seen. The market then has to come back, so logical points are here at one spot, 08110, and the 50%. Okay, so you've got a good amount of, of potential profit to take. And again, all you have to do is take any chart that you work on and take in what information you want 
from the expert commentary. You might not want to look or focus on daily levels or weekly levels. You know, again, it's entirely up to you. You might just want to focus on the intraday RSI, MACD and stochastics. You know, if they're all telling you it's, it's a sell, but then the market's you know pushing up, then you might want to let the upper levels to be hit and you, you hold off on your short. You don't go short until you know you see some breakouts on the upper end and, and wait for some other indicators that might come on from, from my perspective. Or that, it, you know, again, you see the bullish bearish stance in the market change. So to reiterate, everything within the chart, okay, the bull bear reversals are what I know a percentage trades. Okay, bear, market goes down. Bull, market goes up. Bear, down. It's as simple as that. You know, they're not always the huge trades that you'd expect. But again, you have to tie that in with the market sentiment. Here, we're bearish. Okay, so when the market and my signals are bearish, you get a very, very strong down move. Okay, then we creep into bullish. You know, we don't get an amazing reversal of the uptrend, but it still depends how long we're going to hold the trade for. If you hold that for three days, you've made some good money. So what I'm trying to say is it's, it's down to your interpretation, how you work the charts, the time frames against each other. This isn't for me to say it's a bear signal, sell your entire account and wait for the, 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 you know, the signals to change. I'm just telling you that everything in here is what I know the market looks at. Okay, the, the intraday, day one, week one, month one, RSI, MACD, and stochastics, that's what the market's telling you, everyone's interpreting it as. These are the support and resistance on this hourly time frame. Obviously, these support and resistance will change through the time frames. And everything down here is the volume and is, is what the market sentiment is. If the you know, buyers or sellers, I mean, bullish or bearish is just the term, buyers or sellers, it doesn't really matter if it's red you know it's going down if it's green it's going up and you have to tie that in with my signals they're much stronger when they tie up with the market sentiment but again it's one of these things if we're massively bullish and we see a reversal you know the market's going to come down they might squeeze or push all them longs out of the market again we're looking at the hourly so the markets are still fairly volatile and susceptible to change so that's that's the single product view so other things we can look at are the are the different templates so let's just close that and we'll open up maybe the monthly commodities that's something to look at so monthly commodities again things like commodities move very very directionally and when you look in the monthly charts and you're looking for the big reversals the big trend uh, changes then you're going to see them better on these um, on these higher time frames so if you're a very patient trader and you like to pick the absolute tops and bottoms of your product then all my monthly setups okay are designed to do that now I don't think anybody can deny that we see a good Fibonacci pattern here which leads to the reversal okay so the market's just ending the bullish we see a good move down and that's in soya beans you know if you want to trade wheat bear coming to the bearish center and the people selling you know that's a good six months of selling now obviously you know these are the absolute extremes of the market uh, and again it's very difficult to interpret these um, for, for an intraday trade but if you're aware that you know we, we, we're coming towards I me mean, oil for instance this is a great one a massive burr run and look how far oil comes down but bull bull okay so we've got two bun bullish signals on the monthlies that's not pushed the markets up so the third one is either going to work and we're going to rebound into this range heavily or the market is going to continue this downward um, momentum and push any remaining bull oils traders out there so again it's understanding what the market's looking at it's understanding what my percentage trades are and then tying these things up so a monthly view is very very powerful now a lot of traders out there will not just hold trades for months and months at a time but if you're a long-term trader and you're looking to to get in involved in the extremes of the markets then these views are absolutely uh, in, invaluable and again the signals just work I mean, we don't see great returns um, you know, in, in, in all the signals, but again, you're looking for that percentage edge. Now, if you can see the signal and get short and take some money out of the market, it's still better than trading, you know, blind in some respects. Just close that down. So, we have 17 uh, of these profiles, as I said. Now, other things we can look at are things on a weekly basis. Again, it depends how long a term investor you want to be. The monthlies show the very you know highs and lows of the market, the, the, the overall peaks and troughs. Weekly is a bit more of a better view. What I would suggest is starting off with the dailies. So if you're going to start with the dailies, again, we'll just take commodities as an example. So the same products we talked through before, but from a daily basis. Again, what you're looking for is these bulls and bears to come into the market, the sentiment here to tie up. 
And again, you know, they don't always work tick for tick, but you, they're going to catch the general direction of the market. We're bullish here, okay? And then the market can't even go bearish. So we just don't have enough sellers in the market to push it down we re then gain the bulls back into the market and this signal then pushes you know through the highs so what you would do is take this view okay of, of gold and then do some maybe some fundamental analysis you know why is gold pushing up is it because long-term speculators again back into the market is it the demand from china is it because with the quantitative easing there's now fear creeping back into the markets and it's a store of wealth who knows but it's going up. We've got the bull signal. So then we we'll flip back in this chart, back to our single product view, and go to the hourlies. Then look for all them support lines, okay, and all them indicators to tell us buyers were coming back into the market and buy low, okay, based upon the daily view. And maybe you look at the 15-minute candles or hourly candles. Again, it's entirely up to you. But once you've got that higher time frame view and that bigger picture. You, you you've got a fighting chance of, of getting on the back of a reasonable winning trade. Okay. So again, more good signals. Again, bull coming into the market. And it, 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 these are dailies. Okay, so dailies are very strong signals. And you generally get, you know, days coming in pairs. Okay, so when you see the signal come, it will be the next day or the day after when you see the full momentum come into the market. Very much like when you're trading intraday. You'll get on side and you'll think, yes, the market's going to break and it comes back a little bit to your entry point. And then you think, well, I'll just take this little bit of profit. And the second you take the profit, that's when the real move starts. You know, the next hourly candle or the hour after that, because that's when the real momentum flows through. So the whole point of looking at the, the, the monthly view, the weekly view, the daily view, and then looking at your hours for your intraday trades is building up that bigger picture and knowing that, yes, you're not going to get a trade that goes 100 ticks on side in a five minute candle. The markets just aren't that kind. So once you've got the tops of the market, you have to be a little bit patient and let these filter through into your charts and allow your trade to go on side. So again, the whole point of, of analyzing the markets, be it commodities, indices, FX, from these higher time frame points of view, is they'll give you the trigger. Then you go to the single product view with the commentary for your smaller time frames in order to really get that best benefit of the, uh, of the entry point. Just close that down. So we have all, all these different things, as we, as we said. And the last one I would probably go through is probably one of my favorite things. Uh, let's go to the S&P. Someone we'll mentioned that. So let's just skip the alerts. Now, sometimes you might have to zoom in a little bit when the charts first open, rescale the y-axis. You know, these, these things are all very easy to a meta stock. And again, this is designed to work with the expert commentary. So what this shows you is one product on different time frames. Now this is all time frame trading for me. As I said earlier on in the presentation, um, people always ask me, you know, Steve, what what time frame do you use? Well, I said, well, I use them all. And this this window is designed to really put Trader Maker Pro into a nutshell. Okay, so we've got the monthly up here. So this is the highest time frame we have. Realistically, we don't want to look at the yearlies. You know, monthly is enough for direction. Nobody can deny. Bull signal, we buy. Bull signal, we buy. Burr, reversal, bull signal, we buy. I think it'd be pretty hard pushed to say that there's not some uh, there's not some profit in the S&P trading them signals somewhere. Again, it's the, it's the monthly chart, so it's very easy from a trader's perspective and a, an analyst's perspective to say, well, I'll just buy low and hold on. Obviously, much more difficult to do that from an intraday perspective. And that's when we filter through into the different time frames. So we look at the same information based upon the dailies, a little bit more accessible. Bull, market goes up. Okay, this signal just doesn't work. But hey, you know, they don't always work. They're not 100% signals. Bull, market goes up. This one we're already topped out. And again, you've got this nice bullish signal leading to the last week of, uh, of, of strength coming into the dailies on the S&P. Again, the weeklies under the monthly just show the same kind of scenario. I did that really just to kind of shore up the charts to make them symmetrical. I generally wouldn't look at monthly, weekly, and daily. I'd probably look at the weekly, daily, hourly, and 15 minutes for a bit more kind of int intraday perspective, should we say. Because I don't really hold trades for a particularly long time. I don't see the point. Uh, I'll hold a trade for a few hours, maybe, if, if I'm very confident, a few days. But with the volatility we see in the markets right now, what we're trying to do is just get on the back of volatility. Get back on 
the, the trends when the markets are going up and jump on that find them quick reversals because the markets are so quick to reverse you could be hitting the highs one minute the next hour you're trading 50 percent lower so there's so much money flying around right now in the market so what you're trying to do is just get on them hourly candles them two hourly moves and you know sometimes just maybe one candle one one 15 minute candle just try and get that break down and bank some money because you don't have to be in and out in and out in the markets to be a scalper you have to do two or three trades a day and you pick out the good trades and that's where you make the money and that's how i've made my money over the years two two or three trades a day on high probability signals holding them as long as i can and it's as simple as that and what the, what the trader maker pro is designed to tell you is that as you cycle through all these different time frames all the support and resistance line again sometimes when you're on the um uh, on the weekly you don't get these uh, these rsi values they're just not they're not available okay so all these kind of rsi and the sentiment things are designed really to work on um the, the, the weekly daily and intraday you know when you're starting to get to monthlies uh you know the very high time frame weeklies you know sometimes you just don't drag that data through so that's, that's normal it's not an error in the system it, it's it's just you don't get enough data to be able to kind of realistically process that so that's pretty much again how, we, how we'd understand the markets you know again we're at the end of a bull run now so we're expecting the market to retrace if this is going to retrace then you just draw a fibonacci on the days from the low to the high that give you a 50 percent target if we see a fibonacci sequence on the uh, hourly chart that will flick up and you'll see the fibonacci levels that are going to be key in that downward move so really you know what you have to do is pay attention to what again the market is trying to tell us on the hourlies we're pretty much neutral on the rsi but the macd is the castings are mainly buy so we still got that bullish sentiment in the market so if the market does come down hard and fast like the s&p is selling off now then you're going to get people short-term traders that are caught long so these longs are going to be squeezed out of the market I mean we could see a quicker and overextension down in the market and again we've gone from bullish to bearish to bullish we're creeping back into bearish okay so bearish, if people are buying here, longs are going to get squeezed out of the market on the small hourly time frame. So you might see an overextension down. So it's just, again, something else to try and shore up your entry and exit points and your view of the market. Remember, everything here is what your average trader, you, the, I would say 80% of market participants are looking at. And this is just from trading the markets for years, for being a risk manager, being a professional chartist. You know, they just work. Okay, I wouldn't put them on the system if they didn't work. What would be the point? So as you cycle through the different time frames, you will get different areas of support and resistance. So what you want to do is, as I showed, you put a line on, copy it, paste it in, and then whatever you want to take from the monthly you think is good, that's fine. Put it on your hourly. Whatever you think is good from your daily, fine. Take them, copy them, put them on your hourly. Then you build up a picture, like we saw in the single product commentary, of what the market's doing based upon the higher time frame levels, and then what it can do intraday. Okay, so it's quite a logical way of building your charts up. Okay, so for me, that's pretty much everything that we've got to show you uh, in, in Trader Maker. Obviously, we've got the Power Console. Uh, we should all be fairly kind of um, fairly all right with that. Okay, so unless anyone wants to go through that, we just go to uh, the Power Console and again down to Trader Maker Pro. Um, well, you know, select like the, the symbols we want. And then we, you know, we want to just um, select, you know, again, the, the, the Trader Maker Pro from the Explorer. And then we can run through all the things that, are, that you know, that I'm looking for based on my Bull Bears and my Bollinger Band Tesla, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So don't really have to go through that. Um, we should all be able to, uh, to just use that. Okay, quite a lot of talking though, guys. I mean, I'm very conscious and very mindful. There hasn't been too many questions come through in the chat window is there any kind of pressing questions or anything that the people fundamentally just don't understand is there anything that you guys want clarifying we just type it into the chat window now i guess we've got 15 minutes or so um where we can just um you know go through anything i mean i think the whole point is once you've got this framework in place then the markets tend to be a little bit more transparent if you know what the rest of the market participants are looking at then it's all about understanding when they're right or the wrong. I mean, these are great kind of signals here. You have this great line of resistance running through the market. So you see a bear. People love to sell into the bearish market. You see the bearish sentiment here. Okay, the market sells off and then spikes back up because we've got this bullish push back. But it doesn't really close aggressively above this 
key resistance support level and it certainly doesn't touch above these other you know re resistance levels we put in so that gives you the confidence to either average into your trade knowing the bear should take over then the market then does what it does i mean how many times have you done a trade and the second you've pressed the button the market's gone against you okay because that's what the market is designed to do it knows when you're going to go short it knows what your stop is so the market as soon as you go short the market knows the, the majority of people are going short so it pushes the market above your stop then a few more ticks higher everybody all the big players the bank traders the hedge funds you know get short into you getting out of your position then the real move happens so you have to understand that from years of, of watching bank traders you know big traders this is what i used to do you, you find the top of the market with the bollinger bands i'd spike it through 20 ticks and then i'd have my orders to get short so everyone that was short would be getting out you'd be getting out into all the longs would be getting out into my shorts then i let the market come back and do exactly what i knew it'd do anyway because everybody or the majority of market participants look at the markets in the same way so if you know it's going to go down and you get short and it moves 20 ticks in a straight line well you're short so you have to get out because that's your risk reward strategy but then the market comes back to your entry point very quickly and then does the move but then how many times do you get back into a trade we well, don't because you're stunned by that loss you've taken not thinking the market was going to go down you take a hit then the market's already back when you're out to your entry point and then the move happens so these are the things that trading maker pro is designed to tell you that you know what the key points of resistance are the markets are looking at doesn't mean they're going to hold they're like what i call break or bounce levels so if everybody's looking for the same level and it breaks through it aggressively then you either have to hold on or anticipate the market when it's moving very very directionally will use these levels to break through and to get people out of positions and then do what the market said so remember it's tying up everything in the expert commentary that everyone knows tying up the bullish bearish sentiment of the majority of market participants and then using my bull bear um, individual candles and my overall reversals in order to pick the tops and bottoms of market to get into your trades okay um, just got a couple of questions so Joe's saying the bottom red green is that an indicator you created um, well the bullish bearish uh, bottom bar is just a combination of um, of indicators that that I, that I know people will look at to, to tell me if they've got a bullish or bearish stance. So again, I can't really give away exactly how it's put together, but it, it's using everything I do uses existing um, indicators. So things like RSI, Bollinger Bands, Fibonacci. I've not invented a new type of indicator. The whole point of why charting techniques and why indicators work is a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah if the, if, the, if, the, if the market interprets a head and shoulders it's a head and shoulders if a, if a market you know is at 99 on the rsi and is, is is overbought then it will come down so it's understanding that technical analysis works because the majority of the market participants are using them so i'm, I'm trying to pull all these things together and put them in a an easy format to allow you to interpret that very very quickly so if, if the entire market saying you know rsi MACD, d stochastics is a sell and the market's going up you know that shorts are getting squeezed out of the market the market is going to overextend and once it does we're going to have a big aggressive sell-off back into the range and that's where the things like the fibonacci 50 percent come back into um in, into play hope that answers your question um joe good question do i use elliott wave principle Elliott Wave Principle, it's not something I use in my day-to-day -day trading, to be honest. Elliott Wave another, is another one that you, you tend to look at on the, the daily, weekly, and monthly to see where buying inertia comes into the market. You see that pullback. It doesn't get back into the range. You see the strong part of the move. Another pullback, again, shouldn't go back to more than 50% of the range. Then the continuation to make that new high. Then the three-stage reversal. Elliott Wave is great, but it's a theory. You don't know an Elliott Wave is an Elliott Wave until the fifth wave. So it's very difficult to get on an Elliott wave. You have to guess it's an Elliott wave. It, it, it may be the first retracement or, 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 or when the, the third wave makes that higher high. So uh, Elliott wave is too lagging for me. You know, again, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Anyone can say an Elliott wave is an Elliott wave until, well, they can't say it's an Elliott wave until it's had the, the, the fifth wave. So what I like to do with Elliott wave, to be honest, once I've identified it, I do the sell-off. I know it's going to come down in three stages. So it's as simple as that. I'll trade the... 
retracement part of the Elliott wave because I've identified it as an Elliott wave. I won't trade an Elliott wave guessing as an Elliott wave. And you'll find Elliott wave has a lot of similar characteristics to Fibonacci. I just I prefer the Fibonacci retracements to be honest because again it's a percentage edge trade. I know when we've made that high and we come back to the range, we're going to target that 50%. If we close below that 50%, the market will retrace. Nine times out of ten to the hundred percent. Once it's below that, it will hit the key ex overextension points, like the you know the one six one uh, and the two six one four to eight, etc., etc. And this is just from years and years and years and years of trading Fibonacci. But the way I put Fibonacci in is a very structured way. The market has to move up in a certain volume, have to, has to move up with a certain amount of aggression, and it has to tie in things like Bollinger Bands and RSI. And once all these things have done, then the Fib will draw. It doesn't just draw at the highs. It has to have other supporting things with it. Okay. Um, anything else, guys? Anything else? Yep. Yeah, good question. Where can you get it? We well, obviously can get it um, from Metastock. And, you know, as part of you, you guys attending today, uh, you can uh, you can join, you can get it for free, uh, for a free month trial. Again, all my education is generally free. Uh, I, I don't ask you for you to pay to watch me trade. Uh, I'm, I'm very generous guy like that. And again, that's how I've built up my following and my credibility in the market, that I make money trading live based upon what I teach. So I'm not an educator who just turns up and tells you some levels and lets you get on with it. My money's in the market all the time. I trade every day. So you have the confidence that what I teach is what I do, and I make money. So if you want to follow somebody successful and interpret your own trading strategy fixed in with my views and other people's view of the market, then this is certainly the add-on for you. Okay, guys, any anything else? Again, this, this webinar is recorded, so you can go through at your leisure. Um, on, the, on the MetaTrader add-on, I've got a, a video that I've produced that really runs through through some, uh, some working examples of the system. Uh, and again, if there's any real demand for these things, I will do a live webinar trading and using TraderMaker Pro. Uh, it's, it's what I do. You know, I've done over 500 webinars. I've traded 36 consecutive non-fan payrolls, only lost money twice, and that was 80 pounds and something else. So very, very small losses. Uh, um, so I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to give the hard tell guys. That's not my style at all. If you want to know what the market's thinking, what I'm thinking within the charts, then use TraderMaker Pro and all the trades are your own. Okay, I'm not telling you to buy, I'm not telling you to sell, I'm not you know, giving you any, any false hope that's going to make you a millionaire trader. What I'm saying is that you're going to have a much better percentage edge of knowing where support resistance is, what the market's thinking, and then you put your trade on. Okay. Okay, guys, any, any, anything else? Anything you'd like to, to add from a, a Metastock perspective? Um, Dave, any, anything else you want? want to put into the chat window or, or you want to say is there anything yeah. else you guys want to know i mean again it's sorry carry on dave oh no no i'm sorry to sorry to jump on there um i thought i'd just very quickly make sure to uh, mention that the link there in the chat box metastock.com slash trader c this is where you're going to be able to locate the free trial and it's a very quick install for those of you who have Metastock. It's just a couple of clicks. You open your Metastock, and it's right there. If you don't have Metastock, there is also a um, we'll we'll set up a free trial of Metastock with it. Uh, so you get everything you need right from that um, from that download link. Uh, it's really a, one of the one of my favorite plugins that we've come out with in recent years uh, simply for the reason that the, the the commentary is so strong it's almost like having Steve over your shoulder uh, while you're looking at your trades trying to figure out what to do and how you use these Fibonacci levels and support and resistance I just think it's some fantastic commentary it does really simplify the process of what you're trying to do and put it all in a format where you can glean a lot of information very quickly um, so we definitely want you to give it a try it's free to you take us up on it and uh, we really really appreciate having you here uh, in the room with us Steve I think we're gonna have you back uh, right away if that's okay <laughs> absolutely I'm at your disposal uh, again presenting uh, I've done it for such a long time when I've got an interested party I've got people that are interested in trading you know it, it's an absolute pleasure you know these things aren't difficult to do you know there they, are it, it's what makes the job worthwhile to be honest and, I, and a lot of people say you know if you trade you know why would you do these things but you know like event software or do webinars well to be honest I mean it's 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 one of these things I've 
there's quite a barrier to trading when I was a young man. And, uh, you know, being from the north of England, you were kind of almost looked down upon when you're in the city. So I, my main aim when I made some money was to uh, to make trading accessible for anybody. So I developed the software, I developed the tools, and I, I give it out for a relatively reasonable price to allow people of, of, of any kind of reasonable income to be able to get involved in the markets and, and have, like you said, that mentor, that, that, that you know, that steve on your shoulder giving you the encouragement to get in the trade to stay in the trade to know what everyone else is looking at and uh and that i wish i had that when i started trading so it's me giving something back but also again you know making some money on the side you know <laughs> who wouldn't want to do that we got anything we really uh anything else to sorry sorry dave no, oh, no problem. I was just going to ask if there were any last calls for questions uh, before we uh, before we conclude today. Oh, well, that's a good question, Rob. Uh, the the plugin is a subscription of seventy nine dollars per month, and uh, we're going to go ahead and give it to you for free for a month for thirty days, and uh, give let you test it and run with it. As you know, here at Metastock, we always let you test things out and see if they fit your trading style. I think this is one that's going to fit a broad range of traders, whether you're trading end of day, whether you're an intraday trader. Uh, definitely give this one a try and see if it can help you streamline what you're trying to do and make better decisions. That's what this is designed to do for you. Yeah, I think you're exactly right that you've hit the nail on the head. Uh, again, it, it works on any product and it works in any time frame. Just because, again, I don't know everybody's trading style. So I try to give you the broadest, you know, the big monthly, weekly, daily views. And then you use that for your framework. Go into your smaller time frame if you're an intraday trader and then trade accordingly. All these things are based upon mathematics. They're based upon proven edge theories that I've traded for over a decade. And, and these are the things that, you know, again, that make, um, make products like this nice. Because the trade at the end of the day is yours but it helps you ease into the trade and it helps you to stay in trades. And that's one of the big things that um, I learned of being a risk manager that we generally can all call the market pretty well. You know, we think it's going to go up, it's going to go down, but making money from that call is very, very difficult. And I think by having these support resistance lines and especially the Fibonacci's, it gives you defined targets, you know, work 80% of the time. And that edge is, is very, very powerful. And uh, it's good, it's good. Okay, I think we've got a few uh, few questions from uh, Prisanna. Sorry, they were late. Okay, these are more more tech questions, I think. Yes, yes, there's a recording that will be available. Um, we are recording the session. Okay, any any final questions? Okay, I'm just seeing the typing. See, so all oh, right, okay, that's another one for, for Dave to answer. Yes, I mean, again, you get the free trial and you'll also get a, a free chance to download Metastock for, for 30 days, I think the agreement is. That's well, guys, correct. I mean, we'll I don't want to keep you. I know we've, um, we've we've obviously, you know, got other things to do. So uh, if there's anything else from me, you know, you should be able to contact me through the uh, the, the Metastock website. Uh, I'm not a difficult man to find. All you have to do is Google my name. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure tonight. I really appreciate um, Metastock for setting up this opportunity and Dave for hosting. He's, he's been amazing. Any final questions, please, please do put them through now because I, uh, I think it's time we, uh, we probably called it a night for now. All right. Well, Steve, we sure appreciate having you here with us. Uh, let's definitely do this quickly. For those of you who enjoyed this presentation, uh, keep your eyes open. We're going to try to get him back in here for a little follow-up uh, maybe in the next few weeks. Uh, definitely take us up on the free trial. And uh, everybody, thanks for joining us as usual. Best of luck in all you're doing in your trades. Thanks for joining us in the Metastock webinar room today. Have a great afternoon. Okay. Thank you, guys.